Welcome to this video tutorial on the topic of Digital Chairside Implant Workflow. This video is part 5 of a tutorial series. In this video, we focus on the workflow form importing the implant planning data to designing the CEREC Guide 3 Surgical Guide. In part 1 of this tutorial series, we set up the case and exported the prosthetic planning in the design step. In parts 2 to 4, you learned how to perform implant planning in CCOT implant. We have accessed our implant case again and are revisiting the design phase. By clicking Import Implant Data, we can access our drives. We select the corresponding folder and open the file in CMG DXD format, which was previously exported from CCOT implant. Once the import is completed, we can proceed in the step menu. You now see a cylinder in position 4-6, representing the position of the sleeve in the surgical guide. First, we will take a look at the lower jaw from different angles. At the bottom left of the screen, you get confirmed which implant type and which guide system is planned. A correction of the implant system or the surgical guide to be planned can only be made in CCOT implant. We move on to the next step, which is an optional step as indicated by the green check mark. The CEREC software has already planned the support geometry for you, and you can check this and make changes if needed. The sleeve, which is fixed into the guide after the milling process, is stabilized by the so-called support geometry. If necessary, the diameter of this geometry can be reduced or enlarged by enabling the tool with the corresponding name. We move the cursor to the outer edge of the ring. As a result, two arrows are displayed, which allow for modifying the ring size by moving the mouse while holding down the left mouse button. For demonstration purposes, we'll zoom in and out on the geometry. You can then discard or confirm the change. We proceed with the next mandatory step, seating area. The CEREC software automatically calculates an initial proposal for the seating area of the guide. For modifications, there are two tools available. In the Tools window, you will find a slider, which you can use to increase or decrease the distance to the edge. Then you can confirm with OK or Cancel. Additionally, you can already shorten the guide or correct certain areas of the seating area in this step. This tool works in a similar way to, for example, correcting the preparation margin. Since we want to create the guide over just one quadrant, we reduce its application area. We move the cursor to the starting point of the modification and start by double-clicking on the blue line. By applying another single click, we extend the cutting edge to the vestibular until we can complete the corrected line with another double click on the blue line. We confirm again with OK and click Calculate CEREC Guide. Now the guide has been calculated and the CEREC software automatically positions the surgical guide inside the block. The block size is determined by the milling unit selected in the administration phase. The guide repositioning can be performed in three views. As an example, we move the guide in the buckle view. Using the areas marked in red, you can see when the guide is no longer positioned within the block and would therefore be cut off or not milled at these points. This time, we discard the changes and click Cancel. Now the guide is back in the position suggested by the software and we switch to the next step, Inspection Window. 
Since this is an optional step, it is already marked with a green check mark. The tool Inspection Window is enabled, and as soon as you move the cursor towards the guide, a suggestion is automatically displayed in the areas in which a window can be positioned. The window is fixed in position by clicking the left mouse button. Now an additional yellow arrow pointing in both directions is displayed. With this arrow, the window can be moved. The CEREC software automatically excludes certain areas. Windows can only be positioned where there is enough material. Windows that are open at the bottom are not allowed by the software so as to not impair the stability of the guide. We position the window across two teeth so that we can check the secure guide fit inside the patient's mouth. Then we confirm with OK. And move to the last step in this phase, Edit CEREC Guide. Here, three tools are available, Form, Recalculate, and Cut. We will take a closer look at both the first and the last tool. First, we cut off extra areas of the guide. This tool works in the same way as you are used to from other steps and phases. We start with a double click, then set single clicks up to the point where you want to finally cut off the area, and finish with a double click. Just make sure to not include areas that shouldn't be cut off. If that happened, the cut can be discarded by clicking Back or Undo. Next, you will see the application of this tool in a short video sequence. Then we place another cut in the anterior region, making sure that the cutting edge is approximately centered above one of the incisors. This is again used to check the secure guide fit inside the patient's mouth. At this point, we skip the lingual side cut, and next you will see the already shortened guide. Now we enable the Form tool, where we can select between Add, Smooth, and Remove. For demonstration purposes, we will smooth the cutting edge on the lingual side. We will not smooth the previously marked cutting edge in the anterior area because this way it's easier to detect the transition between guide support and tooth structure. Now we come to the last phase, the manufacture phase. The CEREC software automatically positions the guide within the block. The Sprue tool is available in case you want to change the position. To do this, we move the cursor to the block where arrows are displayed in a circle. The guide is now realigned in the block. To avoid further modifications, we deactivate the tool and start manufacturing the guide. Since in our case no milling unit is connected, we are only offered the option to export the guide data to a folder. Thank you very much for your attention. We would like to wish you every success when working with CEREC.